Okay, everybody. This is simple. Fibromyalgia pain is real. It's a real thing. So to all you parents that have made your children feel bad, shame on you. To the doctors that have misdiagnosed us, didn't keep up with the new information, had prejudices or whatever, shame on you. To the drug companies that have used us for their medical research because we didn't have the money to go to a doctor, shame on you because there's no medications that are helping. Yes, the pain medication helps. And to all of you that think that your child or your friend or your spouse shouldn't be on pain medication, well, ask my stepsister. Oh, you can't. She killed herself. She was in so much pain, and all she had was family telling her that she was a drug addict. Uh, to my mother, God, I can only imagine what it would be like to have a real mother. And I don't know how the rest of you feel, but sometimes you would just like to say, Mom, help me, please. <laughs> You'd just like somebody to say it, to understand unconditionally. But that rarely happens, okay? So fibro people, fibro hell people, we need to count on each other. We need to trade information. And most of all, we need to not let people make us feel bad anymore. This pain is so real. God, I wish it wasn't. I miss my old life. I really do. I miss going out and singing in Key West on the pier with the beautiful sunsets. I miss being able to go to the grocery store. Now if I go, the lights are so bad. There's too many people. My hands can't hold the cart because it's too painful. Can't put the bags in my God in my car. Do you think any of us really choose this? Maybe there's a couple of people that uh, say it because they need some attention or they want to get out of something. But would anyone choose to stay in bed all day in pain if they could change it? And, you know, I have a neighbor right down the street and she had breast cancer, which is a horrible thing and a lot of women experience it. And I felt badly with her, and I watched her three years ago go through it. She lost her hair. I felt horrible for her. I saw her once in a while because I don't go out often because of my pain and my sensitivity to the sun and the heat. And oh, walking hurts, too. I forgot to mention that. And also the exhaustion. The exhaustion when it hits, man, you just want to die. But anyway, she regrew her hair. She's walking around the block. She feels great. But you know, there's nothing they can cut off of us. Uh, there's just new drugs they try on us. A lot, of them, a lot of them cost too much money. And we deal, you know, I'm a gay woman. I've dealt with a lot of people saying a lot of bad things. But a gay fibromyalgia, wow, that's two for the record. Because you know what, you people you do not believe us therefore you take away our power because we have to try to explain it to you oh I will no longer explain my condition to anyone if anyone wants to think it's in my head go ahead I'm gonna tell you you're ignorant get some education okay if a doctor says anything rude to me I'm gonna stand up in his office I'm gonna walk out fibro people we have very little energy don't let other people take it away from us. This is Fibro Hell Michelle, and we need to stand up for ourselves and for each other when we have the energy, right? Okay. Bye-bye.